Nobody has a floor. Okay, so again, uh, today we're going to discuss the uh, exam, exactly what's going to be an exam. Question one through, I think there are going to be eight or nine questions, but uh, but I'll give you what is going to be in the question. So we're going to have three sections. First section is going to be options. The second section will be uh, futures and swaps. And the third section will be FRAs and option, I mean, uh, option interest rate, interest rate option. Okay? And I'll go through each one of them. Okay, so, um, question one is going to be what I have in the exam. In the midterm exam, if you recall the midterm exam, question one has the columns, the five, sell, call puts, and straddles, that's it. And then you have you have uh, five columns, actually with an action, buy or sell, option, the type of option, exercise price, premium, stock price. And then, um, remember we have two columns, the payoff and profit. So payoff and profit, two columns. And I'm gonna have two more columns next to it that is gonna have and one column is going to have break even stock price, or break evens, meaning two break evens if it's a straddle. And the other column is to calculate your return on your investment is negative or positive. Okay, your return on that. So the return, if you buy a call option, that's your the cost of the premium, that's your investment, and you find out what your payoff is, so your Profit, profit over the premium, basically. The, uh, okay. Well, if you sell, selling actually always scores. You can't really calculate selling, so I'm going to be NA for profit. It's all of it. Uh, basically, again, premium. There's no investment. In the case. Okay. Uh, Question two, question two will be um, homework four. Homework four, if you recall, I have three, let me just put it up here. So homework four, Number four, there were three questions from the book. Question eight, nine, and ten. Okay? It could be any of those three. So you gotta bring your spreadsheet together, but they're gonna be on those three questions. It will be one of the three. I mean, if you recall the first one, they are both, it could be a multi-stage, okay? So it could be like a, first of all, multi-stage, but it could be something in the first, First question, second question has that dividend. So that's the only change between the first and second. And the third one actually gets into uh, uh, very similar to what you have. So, um, so learn how to do it. Actually, this thing here is going to be basically on the exam with blanks. So you kind of mirror exactly what I have. It could be one of the three. Question two, uh, question two of the first section. Okay, got it? Yeah. Question one is that. Question two is any of the three questions. Three of them. That's all. And then we're done with options. We're not going to do by actual, but with the. Um, I'm so, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, three questions on options. Take it back. The third question. Is the, I think the most um, challenging of the options. Third question, it will be almost like homework six. It's basically using the Black Scholes model to buy your company. We give two examples, and then we have to be a similar example. So let me bring, let me bring six up.
Six is like that. It's going to be, a, it's going to be something similar to this. You have to identify all the items that go on a black show. Now, I'm going to give you the, since you're going to do it uh, manually, I'm going to give you the normal distribution table. I'm going to give you the E. E minus I, T. I'm going to give you the whole thing. One, two, three, four, three. So you can use that as a. So I'm going to give you all that. We just have to identify what's S, X, if there's a dividend, uh, what is the risk is rate, and what's the dividend. I'm not going to give you like a little discount cash that takes forever to do it. Give me a little more simpler than that. Okay? Like this one is simpler. And the key here, you have to identify the X and the S. The X is always the one that is fixed. And usually it's the debt portion of it. And the S, you identify the enterprise value, right? Because S minus X, enterprise value minus debt, forget about cash portion, is equal so you try to value what the equity is. So you do a black shot model at S minus X, you take the enterprise value minus the debt to prove that there is a, there is a value on the print. The print. <coughs> and that's what you do. So once you have the I, the standard deviation, you got it, you're done. Okay, so we're done with options. Question one is this. Question two is homework. Actually, question one is this and homework one, basically. Well, homework one is basically this. Okay? Question two is homework four. Question three is homework six. So those are the first you're going to bring with you if you want. Section two now is the futures and swaps. Okay? Futures and swaps. There, I'm going to have homework 7 and 8. Let me just bring it up. Homework 7 and 8. And I'll tell you. Uh, now, this is 7. That's an easy one. So, that's the one that has the uh, optimum, has the, you can calculate the H. You multiply by the bushels and you get a contract. And then you apply, uh, and then you continue on a question of two. And you have you have this, those situations here. So you apply those to calculate the profit and the profit per gallon after you apply the H. So I'll just learn this this whole spreadsheet. Okay, that's easy. Actually, there are all four components in there. Okay, and so then you have eight, uh, uh, homework eight. Will be the other question, question, I guess, this is question five, right? Eight is, um, This is swap, interest rate swap from interest rate floating to fixed. And basically there, now, remember here, I, most of the mistakes you guys made on this, you gotta read very, uh, read actually carefully, that if you're, gonna, if you're gonna only hedge half of it, the other half you still have, it, so you gotta combine the two. You just do half of it and let it go. Either you do half of it, two thirds, or whatever. So make sure that you just do the profit. The IRR probably I want to ask you to do. Okay? Because the IRR obviously is uh, maybe like a calculator, a sophisticated calculator, or an Excel sheet. You just have to spread it. Okay? Yeah. We do or we don't have to calculate 
You don't have to. Okay. Um, so that's question, um, question six, I guess. Yeah, <coughs> question three, four, five. That was five. There will be another question six on that section. Okay, and there you have to go to my notes, my examples of my notes for the, let's, let's find it. So if you go to the uh, future forwards notes lecture eight, I have all in red, all six examples, right? <coughs> okay, we already talked about example six, if you recall, that was the uh, homework uh, six. But I want you to know how to do example four, which is without a hedge, without an H, and example five. It's very easy, but it's, it's gonna be a quick five points, five basic points. Hey, um, you said question six, homework six or example six? Example six. Well, homework six is also up in there. Four, six. Back homework? No, 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 then we have a different section now. That's all options. Now we're moving into the, after the midterm. So this is the class that we'll be teaching. Section two is futures and forwards as well. Question four, we're going to question one, two, three, four, or question one, section two, without confusing anyone. That's the uh, homework seven, right? Question five is homework eight. Question six, it will be either example five or example, so example four to five. Okay, actually hold on. Uh, three, four, or five. Three, four, or five. I mean exactly. Assume the kind of future silver, whatever other currency or whatever commodity I'm going to use. You got to create this little table. I'm going to have this table for you. You have to put in the money. Okay. So that's six questions. Are we all clear with six questions? Okay, you said uh, question six is three, four, or five. Yes. Or One of the three. One of the three. Okay. 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 Third section. Third section is on FRAs and what we did the last class, last two classes, and option, option in, interest rate, option interest rate, interest rate option. Okay, there, since we didn't have a homework on that, okay, there we're going to, um, let me see. 